Teenager, what I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all hate me now. Later on, y'all come along, y'all gonna see what y'all get to be men. And you get out here and you start getting yourself situated, you're gonna be able to appreciate somebody care enough to tell you the truth. Keep y'all guys out of prison. Keep y'all from out here, somebody homosexual, somebody little girl, and you're men. Y'all got it? Teach how to conduct yourself. You grow up, you be men, you be productive men, you get wise, you get your family, and you be a role model. Do it like this. Trace it. Let me see you trace it. You know why you can trace it? Because something's there. Something's there. You can do it. Don't put nothing down in a trace. No, don't put your hand down. Let me just see you trace your hand. Come on. Look at me, guy. Come on and show me that hand side. Look at his hand here. He might be doing Quasimoto hand. Let me see you trace your hand. Look at that. How hard is that? All right, let me see you do it with that hand. That's probably about 15 finger my kid. Let me get But you know, you know why it was difficult for him? Because there's nothing there. And that's what we got today in our community, in our homes. There's nothing to follow. When there's nothing there, you can't do it. When something's there, you got something you can follow now. Y'all got it? That's our goal. What's y'all new name? Nagar. Nagar. That's right. Shine. Yes, ma'am. N-A-G-A-H. Nigga. Nigga. It means to shine. Yes. It was flashing? Flash? Probably depend on where you look at a flash, shine. We'll put up on now. Look at that. Where you looked at? Did you look at it? You had it wrote down before. You had flashing. Did you write it down in Japan or you wrote it in America? I'm just I'm, I'm saying, well, you might have wrote it down before you got back over him. We'll put up that so they can see, nigga. They put flat. That, but guess what? That go with red, um, who that say that? No, Lee and what you call it? All day, what they say y'all, keep the light on, we flashing. Nigga. Y'all got that? Nigga. He got flashing. Sometimes, so they probably going to do flashing, which, you know, the flash is like a shine. But we'll make sure we can clear it up. You know, you got everybody got their definition. But I'll end it to shine. Shine is one of, and flash. Y'all hear to put it, let me hear you, you got a mic box up. So people can hear you say it. Now I'm going to get ready and get started here and talk with y'all a little bit. I've been thinking this thing. I'll go to get to Tommy, complete what we call perfection. That's it. My goal is while I'm here to do my job. I ain't, I ain't trying to slack y'all, because when that man come back here, he going to hold somebody accountable and done their job. I'm trying to make sure it ain't me. Y'all hear me? I try to set a precedent and set a standard so I, I men, young and old, got something they can follow. Y'all got it? That's how we gonna try to do it. He gonna put up, he can, there it is, they got two H's up now. Nigga. What's up, nigga? See, you'll see them black women that glitter on their face. Glitter. Y'all know we ain't got time for that. Illuminate. We don't play with all that. And no, don't y'all all cool. Come on, no glitter on your face. Justin. Yes, Nigga! Shine. <laughs> to illuminate, to enlighten, cause to shine. This is, uh, so do lexicon. Just see what different. Lexicon Greek. I mean, lexicon Hebrew. That's what I want to do for everybody. I want to get this thing right. Raise up a job. You know my goal is? For us to raise up a tool of dog to do better than we've done. If we can raise them up without all the mistakes we made, without all the hurts that we've gone through and we had to overcome. How many of y'all still deal with hurts from when you growing up? You see that? Uh, now, if we can rear a generation that wouldn't have to go through that. The defects, the faults we incurred, all the bad mistakes and ideas, decisions we made, if we can rip up a tool of dog that wouldn't have to go through and have to go through and try to recover, because a lot of people that gone through similar things like us, they out and they they down and out. Yeah. I go, I don't know why people want, I don't know, I don't know what's the fascination of watching somebody else fall the same way I feel. I don't get it. Why would you? Why would you want to see anybody go through anything? If it hurt you, it's been detrimental to you over the course of your lifespan and time, why would you want to see somebody else go through that? Why would you want to inflict your hurt on other people? 
That's what somebody did to us, and that's why we were victims. Got it? And ain't that molest that you be victims of other things. People induced us into drink, induced us into smoke because they were have it was habit. What they tell you? You be like, man, what that man, nothing. What they do? Man, nothing. Now, that's how I got on married. They told me it didn't do nothing. I should look at it. Why would somebody be doing something that don't do nothing? Cause they wouldn't tell that way it's on you. They left your curiosity so open. Drinking same thing. Well, I mean, I mean, really ain't nothing. Before you know it, you drink it, they move you up, you on cocaine. How y'all think these people get on need them? People don't just pick them up because other peer group people. They get influenced by other people. Our goal is you got to keep you guys from the influences of other people that's detrimental to you guys. What well, a lot of these guys out here trying to do, they ain't going to make it. We want to sit y'all up. Let me tell you you learn here. You got to learn how to fly and stay on the radar out here. Certain things, it just put a, it put a target on your back. Y'all know that? It do. Put a, people don't really put a target. White folks will deal with you to a degree if you know how to do certain things and you count out of the way. You don't believe it. You can navigate and you can move and nobody can catch you. But you can put too much spark on yourself. Them folks look at you a problem. We got to get rid of you. And when them folks set they set to come after you, you done. Sit down. To shine, to shine, to enlighten, to cause to shine. So they looked up on the uh, lexicon on him, on the lexicon blue letter Bible. They tell them to shine, to enlighten, to cause to shine. Y'all got it? And for the record, that wasn't a new word for me. I just don't say everything I know, but. It's just something y'all need, we need to know about ourselves. That makes sense, though, folk call each other nigga. But we didn't know. See, the whole problem, that's why y'all don't realize whites were even fighting for the, I, you know, maybe stop using the So I can't use, you should use, because now you know, you're going to start learning what it means. How many years we went through using the word nigga, we never looked it up? You know what I'm saying? They start looking, eventually these people are going to start looking stuff up and start looking at derivative. Where did this arrive from? How do you have a word that that close to nigga? And it means to shine. And we used to tell nigga, nigga always trying to shine. Or when a guy try to come and show out on you or something like that, try to overdo it. He said, nigga always trying to shine. And the whole time we realized, you just said he was a nigga. What was he supposed to do? He was supposed to enlighten, right? But they keep us, well, we just stay dark. We stay back in the woods and stay back here. That's not our goal. That's why y'all men, y'all probably be front and center. How you dress this, I got, we got to start changing because we got images. See, they don't show so many bad images of us and they put out so many bad projections of us. So now we got to fight to get back and try to get our status. True. Man, we got bad, we got bad, I, folks don't think that, you see a black, nobody think that about a black man no more. Man, that's a rare, a commendable quality. A man functioning, that is a rare commendable quality because they, they basically pushed us away from functioning. They took away that attribute from us. They gave a lazy, good for nothing, sneaking, lying, cheating, hiding, no good. That's the title. These women tell that the best, that's most of the title they got toward us and for us. Now we gotta try to rid. They don't call y'all that yet, but it's coming. It's coming. And you're gonna hear it to your face, and it's gonna be out of while you'll be like, you ain't worried about it, but you should be worried about it. Because you gotta look at what you display. If you display something different, it don't matter what other people say about you. If that's what you display, that's bad for you. Folks say, you're a liar, you're a liar, and you ain't telling lies. I ain't got to worry about that. But if I'm a liar, then it's out. I'm known. Y'all got it? I got to change my image. So this is y'all opportunity while y'all growing up to change and fix your images. Y'all got it? All right. I'm going to give and let them sign the cartel surround. <sighs> Wonderful Husha. Abel, Most High Kudashaba, which is the separated Father, Hadu, which is thanks for all you've given and rendered unto us for opportunity and chance to seek you with all. We palau unto you in which we ask for you to grant us your Ruach HaKadash, which is your spirit of separation. 
blotting out all of our kata and our ma'al, which are our sins and our transgressions, before it's alarm too late, which is everlasting too late. Uh, baraka us and grant us an understanding. Let your or uh, be upon us, which is your enlightenment. Uh, baraka us that your piney might be our encampment, which is your presence. Fill our lobs, which our hearts, which your ahab, which is your affection. For we are yakra by your shem, called by your name, Yahushua, Yahusha HaMashiach, which is Yahuwah's salvation. Barak of those that are watching in, that ask us palau for them and with them, that seek you and support your Dabarim in every Malcolm, which is in every place. Uh, Barak of the out of towns and strengthen them that they don't fault and they don't faint. Be their Nakum, which is their consolation. Barak of those that had a lot to be here, but not able because of other circumstances, but we committed to your trust. Uh, Barak and search us and see if there be any Rasha Darak, which are any evil ways. Cast it from us and lead us in the Arak everlasting, which is the way of life. Let the debar of our pa, which are the words of our mouth, let the meditation of our lobs, which is of our hearts, be acceptable in your own, which is in your sight. And as we prepare to move further, we palau, in which we ask that you take full control, that you get the tahalim, the praise, the kabood, the glory, and the kabod, the honor. In the shim, which is the name of Yahushua, Yahushua HaMashiach, let us all say, Amen. All right. You got another one? What was that? What version is that? Who? Bible Study Online. That's the name of the um, that program. Our Bible study too, to shine, to shine, to enlighten the cause to shine. Pray with the root. Then it started showing you where the word is used at. Okay. Well, I'm sure it's never used in the um, correlation of calling an individual Nagar to tell him to shine. But we got to get back to our language, to get back to our understanding. Okay. Let's see something. Y'all know we started at Romans. Now I want to get that your cars are called 33 and 30. Because that's something I really want us to make sure. Your cars are called. They call Ezekiel. What do we say your cars are called mean? I think it's Allahim was strengthened. Or strengthened of Allahim. Oh, you ain't give me Romans 15 and 4 yet. We'll come back out. Oh, yeah, let me get this out of the way. Romans 15 and 4. Yeah, I know we got to get a base first before we go anywhere. Listen. For whatever Nikatab before. For whatever was written before. Nikatab for our Lamed. Nikatab nik for was. Katab is written to Lamed. Lamed means to show or to instruct or to teach, to teach us. And that's because when we look at these um, words, we go back to where they derived from, it would have came from the what? The staff, the lamet, right? And that stick was used to show, like I tell you one of those, I say, it's over there. So I can take this and show him where something is or where I want him to go. Or I can <clears> teach him and I can move him. It also can assist, it can help him. Because it had in, you could pull somebody out. So it had a lot of different uh, vari variations of how it could be used. So we look at the lament, we want to understand where it derived from. Let's look at the word lament. Looking from my chart, appreciate it. So I put the lament. Y'all see how the staff look? Okay, this ain't the candy cane they use in college now when they pledge it. <laughs> the lam, which is the, they said the root of it. We went to lamed. They believe that other part was added later. Lam was the shorter part, which is the lament which was supposed to be the Ra'ah, they're calling the shepherd's staff. That's what a Ra'ah is, someone that oversees a fold or a flock. Y'all got it? And what you do from this staff, this is something we look at that teaches. Yoke, authority, or bind. Y'all got it? So that's what we want to look at when we look at the Lamed. And that's how I go when we look at and we see, when we see teach, 
we go back to our word, the lament, okay? These are their definition they give us to try to tell us about it, but there are a lot of things you can do with the lament staff, okay? Okay, we go back to what we were reading. So for whatever was Nikata was written before, was, well, Nikata for was Katab written to limit us, that's right, so that through patience, endurance, that's right, going through without giving up or giving way, and through Nakum, Nakum for consolation of the Kitabim. Kitabim, now we're talking plural from Katab, Kitabim, plural. So now we're looking at all of the writings. We might have Tikva. So can you get Tikva from the writing? Yes. Well, it's giving you, actually this is telling you two different things. But whatever was written before was written to teach us. So we know what was written to do. But then when he went down to the Kitavim, so this is the combination of all of them. So when we're looking at the combined effort. So what happened a lot of times, people trying to be Talmim, which is complete, we'll say perfect, but you don't have all of the essential tools. And that's what, that's what we're trying to find out. What are we lacking? Y'all got it? So this is what we want to look at. Your cards are called. They call Ezekiel 3330. Listen. They'll call oh. Ezekiel. Listen. Also, thou Ben of Ish. See that? That Ben of Adam. Ben of Adam. That's right. Ben of Adam. It says son of man in your books at home. And some of them here, but one know it's the Ben of Adam. And that's important we learn too because everything is stemming back to creation. Let's go back to where you derive from. So if you go back to where you derive from, we can start to see why certain behaviors or patterns are set. Some of us in here have patterns of parents. Or, some, how many of us had parents we had either mother or father and still had a dislike? How many of them, what you didn't like about them you hated, you saw yourself acting in somewhat of a form of that? You see what happened? It, same thing with me. I hated my daddy drink and I wound up being a drunk. I hate the way he cursed, and I curse like a sailor. I don't know if a sailor could cuss that good. So a lot of things that we'll grow and we'll hate, you will become sometime. And if you go back, you can look at where it derived from. Y'all got it? It's hereditary, what we'll call it. Y'all got it? So our goal is to try to figure out and find out what's the, what precedent he set for a pattern. What are we supposed to follow? And this is what we did. We didn't have nothing to follow. So here we were doing this. Who hand go like this? Cause, but it's nothing to follow. So how do you know if you don't have one to trace? How do you know what a man is or how to become a man or a woman if you don't have something to follow? So that's how important it is for us to start looking at how we do stuff. They got to have something to follow. Y'all got it. So it's not, I, people, I remember niggas tell me one time, you, you, you tell everything you've done and that's, that's not good to tell the kids. I don't know why. I'd rather tell you than somebody put you on your back and show you. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's right. So now you got the option. That's you better, right. I already know about that. Let me show you a little trick while I unbutton your shirt. No, I, don't, I already know it. Right. Let me show you a trick while I kick you in your groins. That's right. Or your vagina. Got it? So it's a lot of things out here where people are used to attack you. And as Shaul told us, he said that he was not ignorant of Satan. Nice. Less, we've been taking advantage of, which means we're ignorant. Not When we look at Satan, let's not even go put it on Satan. Let's look at the system we're in, why we're so far behind economically, education-wise, why are we impoverished? Why are we the sickest people on the planet? Why? Why, why? why are we the victim? Why are we the most incarcerated people? Because we ignorant when it comes down to their devices. You can, we can complain all we want. The white man be a prison. He be a prison to lock up black people. Do we have to go because he built them? Well, you know, the system set up for me to go. I guess I got to go ahead and go. Because he built liquor stores on every corner of our neighborhood. That means we got to buy it. No, sir. You know how you can get rid of liquor stores in every one of your community? They can't exist if you don't support it. Right. Well, we got to get these drug dealers off our street. If we start smoking dope, they'll stop selling. That's right. mm -hmm. See, a lot of time we made the fight. The white man need to get his drug. Listen, drugs only sell because people use them. That's right. We got to educate our people not to use things that are detrimental to them, whether it's people, whether it's drugs, whether it's foods, whether it's drinks, whether it's education, whether it's system. That's how you, that's how you beat. That's how you win. You got to educate yourself. You got to be educated about things that hurt you. So now he said him also, being of Adam. 
Ben, you're the son of Adam, which means you are that kind. Okay, let's look at what kind was he. Let's go back to uh, Barashit. One. 26. Woo! That heat ain't on, is it? Good. Appreciate it. Y'all hate me now. That's fine. Hate me now. Give you a quail, you're going to love me in the morning. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm the bad guy. Go ahead. I know you got to hate me. Tony Montana tried to tell you. They were sitting on their suits and tie. They're going to hate the drug dealer. I'm the bad guy. Go ahead. I'm the only one to tell y'all the truth. When I say I'm the one, let me say this. I'm one of the few that tell you the truth and tell it to you because I care about you. Y'all don't really, let me tell you something, man. Stuff y'all pull, y'all do. This is how you work in life. People cut you off. Yep. Once I find folks trying to get me, I don't, I don't, I don't people you keep for you. I'm done with you for life. My wife tell you, listen, I'm one of the people. I can cut a person off. I don't have to see you. Listen. If I, if, if I cut you off and I see you 500 million years from now, I'm out of nigga, then I just tell you to get away from me. Because I hold it to that end where I don't care about it. Because once I know you on the steal on the take me, I have no use for you. What's the purpose of keeping me around if I know you on the take you on the steal? I don't need nobody around me like that. Because I'm on the come up. And if you got somebody on the take, you hurt me on the come up. So I can't do nothing with you. Y'all got it? All right, let's see. This is why we want to look at, because he said, Ben of Adam. Let's find out. Can we find out what he is? All right, let's see. Listen. And Allahim said, let us make Adam in our image. Oh, can we look at what image means? Image might be a reflective look. I don't know. Let's see. See, if I know what he did, then I got a better idea of what I'm supposed to, what I'm supposed to favor. Let's see. A representation of the external, which is external, is always the outside. Like they tell you, those are the, that's how you go outside. So you see the prefix of the X. So we know this is telling us about outside. The external form of a person or thing in an art. The general expression that a person, organization, or a product represents to the public. So this is what he wanted to do. I need something that can go out here when people see it, it represents us. It represents Yahuwah, the Ruach. It represents Yahushua, the flesh, the Basar. Let us make each in our image someone to represent us. Okay? Y'all got that? That's the external part. So we know he has to have Yahushua in effect when he's saying the external part because we know that Elohim is a Ruach. Is a Ruach. Who told us that? You just came up there on your own. Who? What did he tell us? And? Shakar. And they that worship Shekar. him. Shakar him. I'm sorry. Must. The only reason why I'm saying that, it's a difference. You kind of almost leave. See, little words we leave out, it don't put the strictness on what we got to do. They that should call him. They that should call him doing in spirit and truth. You, see, you got to put that emphasis. I want to worship him, but I mean, I just worship him like this. No, I must worship him in truth. Well, everything I believe ain't the truth, but I, I still should call him. You ain't, you're, not, you're not following because I got to do it. It's, it's required that I have to do it in a mot. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. I got to do it, because he's Ruach. And they that should call him have to do it. So it's got to be internal. Although now I'm referring to my first form he made him, he's talking about an external look that would be a representation of us, of Allahim, which is a plural statement. So you just got to represent him in the Ruach and in the Basar. That's what I'm making. Let's see what he said. We understand what the definition is. Then Elohim said, let us make each After. man, son of man, in our image. He wouldn't be son of man because he didn't come from a man. You cannot call Adam son of man. You will be telling something false. 
Adam did not come from man. He could not be called son of man. He had to be called the son of Elohim. That's right. That's a big difference. Yes, sir. Why well, refer to him as son of man? You're going to be incorrect. Mm -hmm. You have to refer to him as the Ben of Elohim, Ish of Elohim. You cannot call him Ish of man or Ben of Adam or Ben of man. Y'all got it? Couldn't be done. Then Elohim said, let us make Ish an hour, which meant, So where was the where's the external? Why y'all know why I stopped him? I asked him because I want him to understand. What I don't want us to do, we don't want a word call. You do wrong. when we call. We want when we understand words. External is always outside. You see that ex right there? Exit. <clears throat> if you go out that door, where are you going? So we're talking about he needed somebody to represent him outwardly, external. Y'all got that? Not internal. Got it? That's different. Y'all got it? Internal, external is different. Now he's working for, we need somebody to an uh, image that can go out and represent us in public. A representation of us externally. Y'all got it? All right. According to our Can we look up likeness? Likeness. If we understand the word, don't we, we can do better? How many times we done heard, let us make man in our image and our likeness? Countless. <laughs> How many times we really broke it down to look at what he's saying? Someone to represent us in public. Someone that can display externally our look. And these folks will give you a white man because they don't read your book too. Why do you think it's so important to push a white man to show you, then tell you, why color matter? But if you told me to make somebody that look like us, an uh, outward representation, and I gave them slant eyes and Spanish color skin, would there be a good representation? Based upon the region of where this all originated from? Based upon other writing that show us that they definitely had to be Shakar? Shakur, right? So we needed, he needs someone to represent that look. Why y'all think white people show you the look, different looks and show you white looks? Because that's the image they want to portray. So likeness, the fact of quality or being alike, resemblance. Now look at that, that means the man has the resemblance. I said, wow, you resemble Ricardo Montalban. Riley, how many of y'all remember Ricardo Montalban? He played on what show? Family, I, fantasy, stand up for a minute. Wow, Riley, you did, you know who Ricardo Montalban? Pull a picture of Ricardo Montalban up there for him. I just want you to just see something. Cause we gonna, let's base this off of his statements of what he said. Cause you know what people tell us? Why color matter? The people that tell you color don't matter are the oppressed slave mind Negro and a white man who was looking at the white Jesus. These are the only people going to tell you that. The slave-minded Negro. Look at him. Resemble it. Don't look at him. Turn around, they can see you, Robert. <laughs> Ricardo, do y'all see that? Resemble it. Do How much does he resemble this? But mind you, his statement was, let us make him in our image. Someone to represent us in public. Then he will make the statement after. What is after? Let me ask something. Come for some bar for something. I want you to walk past this after I do it. So you had to do it after I did it. So something was already established. You can't have an after unless it's a before. Okay? So if I'm making something after my likeness to resemble me, to represent me in public, then I'm going to add a, after our likeness, the fact of the quality of being alike resemblance. We have to favor in what we're doing. So when Adam came 
after Yahushua, after Yahuwah, it was because something had already been established. They couldn't be sitting around saying, I'm kind of confused on what to make. Because we don't have nothing already been set up to say make him uh, the second image of. Y'all got what I'm saying? So something already had to been set to say after our likeness. Is after before? You can't come after unless something before, correct? Okay, let's go. The fact of the quality of resemblance according to our resemblance and let them over the fish of the young sea. Dog, I think the word for fish is dog. It'd be pronounced like D-O-G, fish is dog, okay? and over the birds of Shamaim, and over the cattle, and over the arats, the plant, or he called it alone, the arats, the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the arats, okay? That's what you're gonna do. So the reason why you gotta resemble me, and the reason you gotta be after my lightning, cause all these things gonna have to obey you, and they only gonna obey me. Right, right. Because they know my voice, and they know what I look like. They know how I operate. So I'm going to teach you how I operate so they'll follow you the same way they do me. What would be the purpose of making you look just like me, giving you all the, giving you all of the, all of the, sh so what, Shar, Faru, mm -hmm. Ruler, what, S-A-R-A, so like Sar, S-A-R, Sar, the ruler, be a prince, over something. What, what would be the purpose of doing this? And then, listen, we're dealing with everything that's here. And I'm not here because you're going to resemble me. And they know me. They know my voice. They know how I look. They know how I operate. That's how they're going to obey you, which is to shama, to hear you with an intent to do. That's what we missing. Because all the dogs know me. The yam know me. The birds know me, Shamaim, all the, all the cattle gonna be what we say, Bacor, Bacor for cattle, plural or what they gonna call Bacor, what they call the olive. And over all the arats and over every creeping thing that creeps on the arats, that would be the only reason to make you look like me. That was the only reason to give you the shot, give you what I got. You know something was a good example for us to understand? The same thing you'll look at when it came down to, uh, let me see. Let's see. See if it's the 41st chapter, 41, 40, 41, 20, Barashit. They call Genesis Barashit, means in the beginning. Barashit. Let's see this. Might have to read down. We'll see. All right, 21. Drop on down, say 24, 20. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm. 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 Oh, just come down. Just go. Stop. Right here. 43. I apologize. 43, 33. All right. I'm trying to pay attention. Now, let Pharaoh. Pharaoh is equivalent to an emperor. A king, they didn't have a king. Emperor rules over empire, all right? This, is, this Pharaoh is equivalent. Look for what, Ish? I mean, look for what? Hey, Ish. For the, you said for the Ben Adam. Hey, Ish. You should say Ben of Adam. Hey, Ish. That's just going to be a singular man? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see what he's going to do. 
That might have threw me off. Listen. Discreet and wise. Discerning and wise. And set him over the arots of Miss Rain. Confused. Let's see what happened. This threw me off. Listen. Let Faro do this. <laughs> let him act. Let me move. Let's get it done. Act. Let's move now. And let him appoint officers over the arots and take up the fifth part of the arots of Miss Rain and the seven plenteous Shanine. Oh, the plenty. See, they paid tithe back then. This ain't nothing to see that. They took up a fifth part. Let's go. And let them gather all the food of those good Shanine, two Shanine that come and lay up wheat under the hand of Pharaoh and let them keep food in the cities. Uh -huh. And let them guard it. See that? Y'all ain't going to believe it. What y'all think going on right now? It's a famine. And Pharaoh was told to act now to get an ish that you can appoint to be over it so Mizraim don't suffer like the rest of the people. Y'all don't, don't understand that. Don't worry about it. Y'all don't know why y'all got nobody to sit over y'all that ain't stupid that don't mess up every dime you got, do you? Mm. There's a famine, folks. Mm. There's a famine. And we ain't in the red. This is why he was told what to do. Gather you a man that will be discerning and wise that can put something up so Mizraim don't suffer. All right, come on. And let them guard it. Because somebody's going to try to take it. Mm. Slick nigga member, cunning, conniving people, lying tricksters. So they got to put somebody to guard it. Let's see. Come on. And Third. that food shall be for store to the arats. It's going to be for reserve? Yes, sir. Wow. Uh-huh. To the, to the arats against the seven <laughs> shanim of famine, which shall be in the arats of Misraim, that the arats perish not through the famine. So they didn't suffer and die like the rest of the people. Imagine that. Let's see what happened. And the Debar was too in the oon of Pharaoh and in the oon of all his Abedin. For those that look at oon is the eye, which is the sight, to know, to knowledge. Okay, 38. And Pharaoh said unto his Abedin, can we find such a one as this is? A Ish in whom the Ruach of Elohim is. Let me ask you a question. How many people is Pharaoh? One. One? But when he decided to set that man up, he wound up talking to some other people with him. Did this take away from Pharaoh being one? Because for some dumb reason, people can't see Allah, Elohim being one. Mm. Who was he talking to? His Abedin that were with him that we together agreeing, then Pharaoh said to the man? His Abedin. To his Abedin, can we find? So it must be, Pharaoh must be multiple. Mm. Cause these people really have a problem with Allah, he ain't being one. Mm. But he can operate in a plural sense. Cause he's saying we. Pharaoh is one, then he's saying we. Find a Ben of Adam. Like who? This. In whom has a ruach of Elohim? Wow, let's see. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as Elohim hath shewed thee all, all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. So when Adam was put down here and he put the rule over the birds, over the fish, over all every creepy thing, where he could have possibly came up with this stuff from? Where could he have possibly dreamed this stuff up from? How did Yosef know what he was doing? Elohim showed it to him. Let's see. Come on. Thou shalt be over my bed. And? According unto thy debar. All who? Shall all my own be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. Let's see what he told her. 
And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the Arats of Mizraim. That sounds so familiar, Lee. Mm -hmm. You don't say him over all of Mizraim? I never heard this story. Come on, what it to? And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck. So let's see. I don't know what this could possibly mean. What are you saying? And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had. So let me ask you a question. If he rode in the second one, who who's in the first one? Pharaoh. So what he would have been like after? Mm. Would he have been like after? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine a man in the second chariot, right? His chariot totally different. And then he got on a necklace and a ring. Who was he resembling? The man in the first chariot. He would have gave him the ring because he would have recognized the authority of it. If they're going to obey you and show them, the people are going to be ruled by what you say. Then they're going to need to see something that they know is a symbol of authority from me. They know that I wear, I do, I clothe them. Why I dress you in fine apparel and I came in raggedy clothes? Because clothes show sure don't make a man. Why would, he, why would we put him in the finest he got? Why? Because you're a ruler. I try to get y'all guys to dress them because you don't understand your position. What was wrong with what he had on? All he was going to do was rule the people. Was it clothes going to rule them? Mm. Because that's what I wear. And they recognize me in my capacity and my authority on how I carry myself. And if you're going to rule these people, then you're going to need to resemble and you're going to have to be after my likeness. Mm. Well, I'm not going to listen to you pulling no dirty clothes talking about who? Nigga, get out of my face. Shut your mouth. Mm. You're going to have to look like. If I got you in the second chair, because I'm in the first one. And they know that's how I ride. They know that Pharaoh's chariot. So the person they're going to follow is going to have to resemble. Going to have to be in the light because you're going to represent me in public in front of people. My brother, why we got to wear clothes? Why we got to look decent? Why we got to comb our hair? <laughs> the man that gave us the rule. Then we need to resemble somebody that rules. Nobody gonna listen to you, Trump. Nobody listen to no homeless guy. We all seen people pull over. Hold on, hey, stop your car. Let the homeless man speaking. You run them over. They grab your hand and you drive them down the street. Nobody respect. They get in front, but get out of the way, you bum. You know, wait, what you say? That bum might be somebody. They ain't nobody. Beware how you're in the train. That's, that's a homeless guy. I know that cracker. He be out here every week. Am I making this up? No. Angel, angel dust. That's about the best they gonna be. So there is a reasoning and a rationale behind what we do. This is so you guys can see that. Listen what happened. He had him ride in a, which was the two, wow. And they proclaimed before him, bowed the knee, and he set him over all the arats of Misraim. Well, I wonder, they understand, they recognize. Let's go back to see, I know. We just jumped out. They ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You just stay nasty. Stay filthy still. Kazun told y'all, he that filthy, stay filthy still. Stay filthy still. It don't make sense. You're supposed to be Nagar. You are, you're supposed to shine. The man told nobody light no lampstand and put it on no table. He said, I put it so everybody can do what? That come well. So everybody that can publicly see it can see my likeness and my resemblance. Right. One and twenty-six bar a sheep. Then Allahim said, "Let us make 
Wow, because Pharaoh said let, that they were going to do something. Mm -hmm. And it didn't take away from him still being Pharaoh. So when Elohim said, let us, see, he, he, he ain't all of himself. This is some more. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking. Let us make each an hour. That's, so guess what we're going to say? According to our what? And what did we say lightness was? Which means he need to ride like we ride. He need a necklace and he need a ring. He need the finest linen. That was Pharaoh saw. Now you think he's smart, Elohim? If you're going to rule and I'm going to set you under me, you're going to be behind me. How you going to need to look? If these people going to listen to you and follow you, how do you need to look? We're talking about likeness and resemblance. Oh, that's important. I did this before I even got here and said, let you show over something. Nigga, you don't look like nothing. Who you going to rule over? The, the dog, the fish, or the yum? Y'all know how big the yum is? And over, over the birds of Shamaim, the eagle, the hawk, and every other bird, they just going to listen to you? You look like that? You conduct yourself like you have no resemblance? This is a public appearance. <clears throat> and over all the cattle, the bacar, bacar, and over, and over all, look at it, the all, all the around, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the rock, anything on his belly back, anything. If it crawl, breathe, swim, if it fly, it walk, it cripple down, better know who talking. They better know who you represent. That's the authority he gave us. He said, let them. That's plural. I started with one, but I knew this thing going to get out. It's going to be more of them. His goal was to make more of them. And everybody need to know who you're supposed to resemble. Let's come on. What's the name? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, and Elohim created the son of man in his who? So what? Adam, because he couldn't have said son of man. He didn't come from a man. I made him like me. I didn't come from a man. He didn't either. In his own, because he got to resemble. He's got to represent in public. Y'all got it? So he needs to look just like me in color, in stature, in mindset. Why y'all think the book tell y'all to let this mind be where? In you. Which was also where? Who thought it not robbery to do what now? I don't know why these folk got no problem with us putting ourselves on that level. Put that same mind in you. Let that same mind be in you, which was also in the Mashiach. Who thought it not robbery to be equal with? Yosef was equal with Pharaoh and took nothing away from him. He said, and it wasn't robbery because I didn't take nothing away from him. I come, as Yahushua said, to do your will. All right. 28. And Elohim barocked them, and Elohim said to them, be fruitful, Pari, and multiply, and fill the arats, and you got to control it. You got to keep it under control. The lemon know how to do that, too. You can bind. Why do I think he told Cup that whatever he bind on the arats? Subdue it. We're supposed to subdue it. We ain't got no business with stuff subduing us. Right. We're supposed to subdue it. Right. See, they don't make everybody passive and weak, our men weak. They don't want to get, I don't want, I don't want that. I don't want to, I don't care about nothing. I don't want no woman, I don't want no kid, I don't want no, I don't even want to breathe. We got that from our oppressors. Our oppressor gave us that. All he didn't want it all. He want all the kaboo. He want all the kabod. Y'all got it? He want to be acknowledged on what he can do. 
I stretch forth their rocks, spread abroad their rocks. By myself. He said, there was no Elohim with me. He said, no foreign deity with me. He won't be acknowledged that he did it. He said, I do it. Who is I, you who? I do all things. So don't get mad at them. Niggas always boasting and bragging. Not boasting and bragging, we just following the image. Mm -hmm. We just making sure we got the resemblance. But you got to put the work in. Okay? We already read this. Let's see, two right quick. We didn't read that verse? 28, I thought we read 28, didn't we? Oh, what the, oh, hold on. All right, listen. Then Elohim said, behold, 29, I have given you every plant. They're saying, it's be, it's, it's seed, it's be, don't worry about it. Yielding seed, that which is known, that is on the surface, which is the pine of the arats, and every ox which has pari, pari yielding seed, in it shall be for, for, Two, second chapter. Two and one, really the first chapter is basically as a summary. When you read two, two tell you exactly what he did. Two, two, 16. Give me two and six first right quick. Two and six. Then I'll come back to 16. Let me say what I want real quick. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, come on. Listen. But there went up a mist from the Arats, and Mayim, the whole Pine of the Adumah. The mist, he called it an id. All right. Id. And Yahuwah, Elohim, formed Adam of the dust of the Adumah and breathed into his nostrils the Nafak of Kai. And Adam became a Kai Nefash. And he became a living Nefash soul. They say, Kaya. Kaya will actually, I think it go to living, living abundantly. Yeah. Kaya. So let's see Kaya. That's the important for us. We just said man became a living soul. It doesn't really denote what actually what he gave him. So we want to understand what he told him. He used Kaya. You getting Kai. I need Kaya. That's different. Kai Kai is the <coughs> root. Kaya. Wrong. This is where I put us at. Go to Lexicon. Lexicon. Okay, Kaya. Okay, Kaya. To live, to revive, to bring back to life from the dead. Okay, do it. Do, do it in uh, Lexicon. Lexicon Hebrew. They'll call it Hebrew. I don't use it. Let's see, give me a meaning for it. So it goes, mm, mm, mm. To live, have life, remain alive, sustain life, live prosperously, live for. Got them white hands up there. Block them out. Okay, y'all see the difference? I'm saying. I said to live, have life, remain alive, sustain life, live prosperously, live forever, be quickened, be alive, be restored to life or health. So these are not the definition we're used to him. When he said he became a living nefash, right? He quickened him, be alive. He also made him alive to do what? To live Prosper. prosperously and to sustain life and to remain alive. That's what he did for Adam. If you don't take the essential tools he give you so you can remain alive, so you can sustain life, that's on you. Right. It wasn't because he didn't. Why would he put it down and told, listen, behold, I've given you every plant, I've given you every ox bearing seed. Think about the important there. 
if a party doesn't bear seed, how is it going to continue to regenerate? Mm -hmm. So think about this. I told you I want you to come together with a person so you guys can produce seed. So in order for that to happen, I'm going to, you're going to eat what's going to be similar or what's going to be um, 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 a part of your continuation. I'm giving you food that replenishes, that regenerates. So now I'm giving you orders to regenerate. So you're being fed something to help you sustain that. You're giving something so you can, so you can be prosperous. Because as long as you cut, let me see, you can have told yourself, let me see, uh, yet to die, I would above all things that you do what? Prosper. Kaya. Prosper. And he said, I've given you the earth. That's what he gave it for the heal of another nation, or the Gui. So I've given you what will make you prosper, what will allow you to be sustaining, what will keep you, just like the Debar. But you had to learn first the importance of the foods because they were essential to your living. They were bearing seed. They were continuing. So if you took them in, what was going to happen? You were going to mimic your food. So now when you take in Yahuwah, what were you going to do? Mimicking. You were going to mimic Yahuwah. If I gave you every debar that came from his mouth and you ingested it in, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to mimic. You're going to resemble. You're going to form a likeness. Y'all understand? You didn't get it. Write it down, he said. What you didn't get? You didn't get a definition. She gonna let you get it. She gonna let you. Oh, you did? Okay, she gonna let you get it. She got it right now. He, she finna let him get it from her copy. Appreciate that. That's how y'all do, work together. Somebody, I seen y'all do it before. Somebody copied it down. Let somebody copy it from them. That's working together. Make sure everybody be proficient. To live, have life, remain alive, sustain. Like, it, you could be alive, you know how many people die? Because they can't make it. They can't sustain. You know how many babies are born and die? They're too weak to sustain life. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to, he gave us what's needed so we can keep living, okay? All right, let's go back to what we have. That's why we wanted to look at it, because it just told you we were going to read, became a living soul, Nefash. But we didn't look at the living, Kai Kaya. I want you to sustain life so I get you what you need so you can keep living. See, the problem is for a lot of us, we running on fumes. You don't have enough to sustain. All right, let's go, man, finish up. Well, two and seven, two and eight, listen. Two and eight. And Yahuwah Elohim planted a gun eastward in Adon. Adon, and there he put, the, put Adam whom he had formed. You know what he didn't do? told him about the plants and the trees and said, don't be stupid, nigga, go out there and find them. This was a man he wanted to die. This is a man I wanted to live. I made the man, I taught the man, I gave the man the resemblance and the likeness of me in the appearance. I told the man about the foods and the foods, how they bear seed and they continue to regenerate. Then I told you about regenerating. Then I set you up and I want you to eat these things that regenerate because this will be a part of your repro your procre procreation, that you'll keep going because you're going to eat things that's going to be essential. Shaul in the sixth chapter of the book of Barnabas, they call Timothy, he talked about if any consent not to. Wholesome, what do we say wholesome was? Promoting something essential. If you're going to continue, if you're going to regenerate, then you have to eat things that work in a consistent pattern with it. If you're going to be saved, you got to get the word that gives salvation. I remember me and Kerry played basketball one time. I was running down, I jumped, Kerry, hey, Kerry, like I thought, Kerry just, Kerry took, I mean, this is like the 19 power, it was great. So we go going to the rim, the rim this way, him going, we going. So I'm coming to me to jump up him, pack the shot. So Kerry runs on, and he done, that ran. He ran past the door. It's a door. He pushes the door and runs through the door. He runs through a racquetball. I'm making this up, Justin. He ran through a racquetball room. 
hold on, no, no. Listen. No. <laughs> That's on the point. Listen. The man ran through the racquetball room. Listen, we standing there waiting. He gone. Okay, come back out the door a few minutes later. If you go block my shot, you cannot block. We like, where were you at, Kent? The, you know, he took the thing to the third power for a foul. He, you know, you can just say foul. He ran through the racquetball room into another racquetball room. Like the impact force. Man, you, we stand on the court. We wait on care. The man found me. So it's like, this is so bad. Because you done ran through two racquetball rules. You done took this way over. So it's going to be like, they got to let him have it. Man, some four out here. They say, yeah, preacher. Kerry said, I quit. I'm gone. Kerry, we're like, what wrong, Kerry? I cannot play with cheerleaders in him. You got cheerleaders. We said, like, yeah, they don't cheerleaders. We do I'm not playing with no cheerleader. These folks, you don't brought your own cheerleader. So we had to make a rule, everybody had to be quiet. <laughs> Jesse, am I making this up? Who else was there? Ain't nobody over there. You, you remember that? Karen made a rule there. He said nobody could chill. He said they chill again, you quit. That's it. Man, we got it. What Karen did one more coming for somebody. So we stand here, this, so we right here. So you, you, you mean, you about right here, right? Kerry, sitting here, Kerry, doing something like that right here, doing something like that here. The ball went up, Kerry said, foul. <laughs> <laughs> we said, we like, I said, Kerry, we got the tape, you got the tape. They video, they video, we said, go ahead, go to tape. Kerry said, Kerry, look that. They show the tape, I'm all okay Kerry right here. Kerry did something, the ball run, Kerry how to foul. Trick photography. Donald went back up, we like, Kerry. <laughs> Nobody had not do no trick, what are you talking about? Y'all change that tape. <laughs> he found me right there. I said, man, I'm not going <laughs> to. That was the longest game I have played in my life. <laughs> that was at least a 13 game we done played in one. <laughs> but our goal is to make sure we understand. All right, so y'all see this makes sense that Yahuwah planted a gun. And put, see, it been different. I made you and I put you out here. You ain't got nothing. How long you going to make it? Then guess what? I wasn't intended for you to make it. The fact I made you put you where things keep regenerating. And then I tell you to regenerate. I put you here so not only you can live, so that you can sustain while you live. We right. never thought about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here all by myself. I ain't got no help. Baby. Don't tell that lie. He put you right here where you can sustain. He put you right here in the gun. Where other people are regenerating so you can follow a pattern. So you can see how things work. He put you where you, so your, his intent wasn't to cut you. If he would, he left you out there. Yeah. All right, y'all see that? Now give him verse 16. I'm going to be finishing up with y'all here. I just, I just want y'all to get the basis of this. 16. Let's see this. And Yahuwah, Elohim, Amar, Adam, saying. What was his second command was? Well, here they put different. They put, let, let's look at this right here. Uh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That apostrophe is where it's supposed to be Shiva. Supposed to be silent E. We're going to do it from over here for real. Sava is what you put. That's a different word. Oh, that's what you, that's what they're saying the word went back to? Hmm. They just do what they want to do. To constitute and enjoin. Or forbid. He forbid it. I gave him a charge. Commandment. So we can look at him. He forbid him. He gave a charge. He gave him a charge. Or commandment. Okay? Okay. Sava. We don't look at that before. To constitute or enjoin. Okay. Y'all wrote that down. Sava. See him they're using instead of that they're using the W, like the W the double V. That's how you got the double. All you got is two V's. That's how they get a W. It's the sound they really a like, sound. Okay? So he Sava enjoined the man, forbid the man, saying, From huh. any ox of the gun, you may freely eat. Eat freely. That means there's no charge and it's not a foul. Huh? No restriction. Right? 
All right, verse 17. <clears throat> but from the arts of the knowledge of tube and roche, which is evil, you shall not eat from it. For in the yume that you eat from it, you shall surely moot. Let's look at the third chapter. We'll go straight to three and seven. Third chapter. See if it makes sense to you. <clears throat> Six will be fine, son. Six. Let's see what happens. Go ahead, six. You read six, please, sir. And when the Asha saw that the ox was tube for food and that it was pleasant to the um, delight to the eyes, and a ox to be desired to make one wise, she took of the pari thereof and did eat and gave also unto her yas, yas ah. Hold on, hold on. What did they call her? Uh, Isha. What did you say? Yas ah? Isha? What'd you say, Yatsa? Yeah, for some reason, that's what I got in my book, but. Yatsa. So I've been from the Ish, it's called the Ish, right? Isha. Okay, Isha. All right, for husband, wet her. And he did eat. And he did eat. Hold on for a second, stop. When the woman saw that the tree was, was good for food and that it was a delight to his eyes and that the tree was desirable to make one wise, she took from the fruit pari and ate, and she gave also to her Isha husband with her, and he, let's see something, verse seven. Listen. And the own of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Loin coverings, all right. And they shama, the call of Yahuwah Elohim. Which they heard, Shama, and Halak the call for the, sound. Halaki walking. In the gun. In. The cool of the yum. And. Adam and his Asha hid themselves from the presence of Yahuwah Elohim amongst the ots of the gun. In the middle of the ots of the gun. That's important. Because Yahushua was in the middle too. That's important we notice they was in the middle. Most of the time we wouldn't pay attention, but they put it for a reason. Oh, well, you could just tell her he was in the gun, right? That's how we need to know that he was in the Vermont bar. Versus he wants you to know he was in the middle. Because when Yahushua died, he was in the middle. That's why he told you he had one on one and other on the other one. Because he was in the midst of them. In the middle. Because the rest of the people surround him. All right. Listen. And Yahuwah, Elohim, Kara, unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? Which he, Yakra. Yakra. He Yakra. Y'all want to write that down? He Yakra. We said call. For some time it will, but he got Yakra. Because they're going to let you know. Because this is signifying he called. We want to know who did the calling. Y'all right? He called. Okay? Like sometimes you might tell you that come in the house. Kid don't want to hear. You said daddy said, because it's old. Come in the house. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you be thinking that brother sister just trying to get in there. They said dad or mama said, that. oh, that changed it. Oh, they said it. You know what I'm saying? You know how many of y'all remember that stuff? They tell, that's the difference. Like, you need to get in the house. They said, said Mom and Dad said, get in the house. You go, oh, shoot, get in the house. I understand all of saying perfect to me. Y'all got it? Then Elohim, Yakra, he called to the Ish. He called to the bed of Adam and said to him, y'all going to let me just get away with that? Y'all see the bed of Adam up here? So why y'all didn't say that? Because y'all just can't let people lead y'all, okay? Especially when y'all see, don't let nobody lead you to something that don't say that. Y'all got it? Right. Y'all learn that if it don't say that, don't don't just quote it. Don't say that. Did it say the Ben of Adam? That's right. So you don't want to accept that. So you want to show people you paying attention. And he said to him, "Let's see what he told him." Ten. And he said, "I shama the the call in the gun, and I was afraid because I was naked." And I hid myself. So I hid myself. Let's see what happened. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the ox whereof I commanded thee that I thou should not eat? I forbid you. I gave you a commandment. 
you not to eat from it? Have you eaten? Let's see what happened. Hmm. And Adam said, the Asha whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me other arts, and I did eat. Verse 1. Listen. Now the Nakash was more subtle. Nakash for serpent was more crafty. Than any beast of the field, which Yahuwah Elohim had made. And he said unto the Asha, Yea, hath Elohim said, You should not eat of every ox of the gun. Of any ox of the gun? And what happened? Verse 2. And the Asha said unto the Nakash, We may eat of the pari of the ox of the gun. Okay. But, but of the pari of the ox, which is in the midst of the gun, Elohim hath said. Who said it? Elohim hath said. What did he do? Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye moot. That's all I need. Now we go to your cause of call 33 and 33 and 30, because that's what pushed us over here. Okay? And I'll tell you why. Your cause of call, they call Ezekiel 33 and 30. Listen. Also, thou Ben of Adam. So Ben Adam, what that is? What that mean? It's a kind. Mm. It's a kind. That's why we call it, because you resemble somebody. Why would I call you Elohim? Because you resemble. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you about you. You resemble too. What happened? Mm -hmm. The Benim of thy own still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the bed, and speak one to another, every one to his ox, saying, Come, I plow you, and Shama, what is the debar that cometh forth from Yahuwah? Well, come from Yahuwah. Let's see what happened. Verse 31. Listen what they do. And they come unto thee as the arm cometh. And what they do? And they sit before thee as my arm. And what they do? And they Shama thy dabarim. But? They will not do them. For? With, for with their paw, they shoot much a hog. They produce, uh, for they produce much a hog with their mouth, with their paw. But their lob goeth after their covetous. Their unjust gain. So, let me tell you something. Um, you've been an Adam. One word you'll find for Adam is you are a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. That's why I asked you, did you do it? You saw a hypocrite. They sat here and told him, man, told him the cost. We're not supposed to eat of it. He told us not to eat of it. And we weren't supposed to touch it. So y'all, you sat before me as my own. And you heard me. But you wouldn't do it. See, a lot of times you got to know when you've been, when you've been told in a sense that you're being insulted. These are the same people. That they, they sat here. Then y'all think Adam heard what Yahuwah said. The woman clearly went back over and told him. So y'all can't eat of none of these trees? Oh, no, no, no. We can eat of them. We can't eat of that one. It's in the midst. Neither are we supposed to touch it lest we die. So when you hear Cain, why you think one of the definitions we find for Adam, you, sir, you, ma'am, are a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. So what are you telling these people? If these people come and they sit here like my arm and they hear in the bar, but they ain't going to do it. And they producing love with their mouth. What are these people? Hypocrites. And then I call you Ben Adam. You couldn't put that together? Mm. Showing you you're a hypocrite. Mm. He said, because you hear it, but you ain't going to do it. Because guess what happened? Their law goes after their unjust. Okay. You ain't going to believe it. When they ate from it, their eyes were open. It wasn't just, though. Mm. You gained sight, but was it just? See why it made sense for me to go back through it like that? Mm. Ben Adam. Hypocrite. Made after resemblance, been given all the information you heard it, and then you did completely different. Ben of Adam, because it's the same kind. When he told every ox to produce, what were they supposed to produce? After this kind. Same kind. Same kind. So it was important for us to look at what? The outward and the inward man. 
Because to make Adam after both species, he was going to have to resemble on both ends. He was going to have to have that commendable quality on the inside and the resemblance on the outside. This would be a full completion of Elohim. Having therefore these promises, then yet die, let us cleanse ourselves. cleanse ourselves from where? All filthiness of the what? Of the basal and the ruach doing what? Perfecting. This thing has to be perfected. You can't just come here here. You have to put it into play. I tell you what you do. Anybody here interested in losing weight? I want you to watch a video. I want you to do nothing. I want you to just look at the video. And watch the weight start falling off. Pounds are going to start shredding. Anybody here interested in putting on weight? I got a video I want you to watch. I just want y'all to watch it. Sit down and watch it. I want y'all to focal in on what's saying, okay? And do nothing. And what result will you get? That's the same thing that happened up with Yahuwah. You can focal in all you want. That's, if he said they're hearing it, they will focus. But he done told you. These people are already set on what they're going to do, just like she was. When she saw that tree, that tree just started looking good, and they've been looking good. I've been trying to get this tree. I've just been trying to wait to get to it. And it ain't stupid either. She told you what's going to happen. I'm going to go test that. Man, you touch it, you know you'll die. You eat it, you know you'll die. I got to see it. That's where my law back. That's why it's so important for us to really go back through and look at where we made errors at and make sure we make correct measures so we don't repeat the same cycle. A lot of us, it's just like this. It's revolving over the same cycle. It's revolving over. Preacher, tell you, that's something y'all talk to. I'm so tired of talking to y'all. Y'all, y'all gonna sit on. I, I'll show you. The, the, why y'all think I'm gonna show you? I'm show you. That's it. I'm gonna get rid of them. Because it's like, you ain't getting it. And it's like, I'm wasting my time. I don't have time. Let me show you. When he got set for him, he done with you. Back right quick of that. Uh, hold on, let's, let's look at this. No, no, let's finish right. We'll go back to the third chapter. Man. Let's finish this up. Third, 33, 32. 33. We're at 32. 32. We read 32, though, right? No, sir. I'm sorry, 32, listen. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant cold and can play well on an instrument for, thy, for they shama thy dabarim, but they do them not. But they won't practice them. He said they won't practice them. They hear what you're saying. You know what y'all look for? Me to say the right key thing to open up is not the one right key thing, it's you putting into practice everything you've been taught. That's how you become effective. It ain't gonna work just sitting there. See, he just told you, you can listen to a song over and over again until you start to practice it, until you start to put it into play, you're never gonna get the results you're trying to get. It makes no sense. This is about results. Let's show something. So, when, the, when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Hopefully it won't. Then, lo, it will come. <laughs> He said, no, it's, it's going to come. Yes, sir. What's going to happen? Then shall they know that a Nabah had been among them. Had been, look well, in their midst. Yes. They don't know one that been in their midst. People didn't know Adam was a Nabah. Let me show you something, make it that third chapter right quick. See that verse 21. 21, the last verse. Third chapter, book of Boan Bar. 24 is the last verse. Let me see 21. Uh-huh. Let's see. Yeah, we we'll start here. Three and twenty-one. Let's see what he did. Unto Adam also, and to his Asha did Yahuwah oh, Elohim make coats of skin, make garments of skin for, and clothe them, and clothe them. Let's we'll see what happened. And Yahuwah Elohim said, Behold, Adam is made is become as one of us to know Tube and Rosh, and now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the ox of Kai and eat and Kai alone. Forever. What you gonna do? Let's see. Therefore Yahuwah Elohim sent him forth from the gun of Eden, Adam, Adam. 
to till the Aduma from whence he was taken. Let's see that. Look where he brought him from. So, so, he, so he drove out Adam and placed him. <clears throat> so you know cars did not get invented in the late middle 1900s <clears throat> or late 1800s because Yahuwah drove Adam. He said, <laughs> boy, get in his car. Is that? But typically with drive, you're looking at a force. You're looking at a force. Y'all got it? You're looking at a force. He forced him out. We look at drive, he forced him out. Look what he did. Drove the ish out and at the east of the gun of Kadeem. Adon. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking to you about Kadim. To the east of the gun of Adon. Cherubims. He and stationed a, the cherubim. And a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the Durak. Or to guard the Durak. Of the Ots of Kai. Let's see. Hold on for a minute. Now, back me up. See if 19, 19, 20. I just want to hear one thing. <clears throat> now, we went from, and i tell you what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Listen. In the sweat Hold of God. Oh, 18. See, the 18 start that end with the woman. Okay, 17. Let's say 17. All right, listen. And unto Adam, he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the call of thy Shah. He listened to Shama. Shama to the call. And has eaten of the ots, of which I amar thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. All ot is the aduma for thy sake. Because of you. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it, all the yamim of thy kai. Hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. Kai. Life. What are we using for life here? Kaika. For your life. Look at Kaya again. Because it's got two words, your life. Kaya. To live, to revive, to bring back to life from the dead, keep, leave. Make alive, certainly give, promise life, let suffer to. Suffer to do what? <clears throat> That's how we change it. Now, look what he did to suffer to live. He could have suffered right there in the gun, couldn't he? Let me ask y'all a question. I seen a head of two shapes. Let me ask y'all a question. How was he going to suffer in the gun? He couldn't. You had everything now. You see, when I sat, when he sat against you, I just told you, curse gonna be the out of my. And not only that, I'm gonna put you back where I brought you from. When I took you, I took you from nothing. So where you think I'm gonna put you back at? So I took you from nothing, and I put you into something. So now, in order for me to all the all you curse you, I got to put you back to nothing and put you where things don't generate the same way to make you suffer to live now. You went from prosperous, you went from sustaining, to now it's hard on me. Man, I could barely make it. Why you think that is? Because you're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. Y'all didn't know that? Let's see some. EU. I'm trying to let y'all go. Y'all don't like this, dude. Yes. See, if we don't get why we in the condition we in, we're not going to be able to figure it out how to get out. Because most of the time, we don't know why. We can't figure. He, there's no way you tell me he sat at down up the moot. I put you where everything generates. When I wanted you to die, I put you where you know you're going to die here. See if that's uh, what, uh, 13, 15. EU, they call Job. E. Let's see what he said. Let me tell you something now.
13th and that's saying. You all say though he's, don't it? Yes, sir. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Behold. Though he may slay yes, me. Though he slay me. Here he say, behold, he shall kill me. Yet will I trust in him. He said, I shall not wait. But I will maintain mine own Darak. Nevertheless, him. I shall justify my Darak, Daraki, plural, before his pani, his face. That's what he told him. He also shall be my Yeshua. Y'all hear this? This also shall be my Yeshua. Him killing me. Him slamming, he said, it's going to be my salvation. Mm. We got salvation through a man dying. Shaul told Barnaba about teaching the bar. He said, in so doing, he said, you just won't say the heroes. He said, you'll say yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's what he told him. Yes, sir. He told him that. He said, you're not just going to say the heroes. He said, you're going to say it yourself. Listen, he recognized that this also shall be my Yeshua, my salvation. They put it as Yeshua. So they try to, well, they put Shua. For an hypocrite shall not come before him. See why he left Adam in the gun? Y'all see why he left him now? Not when he was a hypocrite. And you don't believe it. you caught it. He you caught it and realized it. He said, man, ain't going to keep no hypocrite in front of him. That's why he got rid of him. He said, I don't want no hypocrite in my sight. Not in my own. I already took knowledge of you. You're a hypocrite. Y'all understand how important this is? We really set to consider the opportunity he given us that he hadn't cut. How many have been a hypocrite? How many times were Adam a hypocrite? How many have been a hypocrite one time? How many have been a hypocrite two times? How many have been a hypocrite ten times? How many have been a hypocrite a hundred times? How many times was Adam a hypocrite? How many times did he get to do it over? How many times we done had to do it over? We can't even count it. You understand why we look at Yeshua in the way we look at it? Had he held us to the same degree? That's why we talked about redeem. He made up for what? A bad aspect of something. Talking about we had a trait we took on from our Abba. I made up for it. We said it was a handicap. It was a family trait. We do that. So he said, I made up for it. I redeemed you. Now I told you, I redeemed you from that best of bondage. From the house of suffering. He said, I made up for it. Then when I saved you, I ain't had no daddy, I ain't had no mama. Nigga, your name ain't Mel Sadiq. How you ain't have no mama and no daddy? How you got here, nigga? Cut your shine on. Nigga. My nigga. You hear me, nigga? But see, he made up for it. He came up and gave us a whole lot more than what we had before. Established us on better promises. But we have to sit down to consider the type of people we are. Like, I don't look at it, consider. We've been a hypocrite. And they come along to show us that so we don't come back and repeat the same actions. Now it's important to get back to the pattern. Let me see your pattern. Pattern on the hand. Let's trace it. How many of y'all ain't got no hand? So you then you you then you can't hold I can't hold you to that. Everybody got a hand. You can go backwards and forward. You can perceive you got it. They drop the hand. They try it. Hold on. They do it from. Think about. It. I want you to think about it from memory, muscle memory. I had about that long. <laughs> you can't do something you can't see. And you can't do nothing you don't know. You just can't do it. 
It's that important that we got to set and we got to follow the plan and the pattern that's been set for. Some of y'all just willingly won't follow it. And that's dangerous. That's dangerous. You got the plan. It's been laid out for what we got to do. It don't matter about what happened. Everybody got your mind. Everybody had something bad happen in their life before. Raise your hand out. All right. It's over with. Are you still going through it now? So it made no sense for you to still keep using that for an excuse. It made sense for you to learn from it and to be better. It don't make sense for you to still use that as a crippling. And like y'all use that for your little crutch or excuse for crying or to get out of something. It ain't gonna work. People don't care. People are only with you when people happy people do it. Go ahead and start buzz out crying. Something. Folks come around, they go say, this. they're too long. I gotta get out of here. Couple of stroke rub back don't work. Probably that folk, wait. All right, we out. People look at all these. They, they, people don't want it. I remember a um, fellow went here and told they met some girl. So it was up there. I said, met, met a couple of girls. They all kicking everything, talking. Walking across the street. They kicked it right off, going, kicking. So they walked across the street. Car can't hit one of the girls. Boom! Laid out. They said, damn. This guy hit. They were sitting there crying. They said, so we finna roll out. They rolled out and left. They like, hey, we just met her. We were finna go. We like, y'all ain't gonna, we ain't going to no hospital. We don't know her. But while she was up and going, walking and talking, and it looked like it was going somewhere, that car hit her laid out. They said, man, we left. They said, we stood for a minute. They, man, look at that. We ain't in it. You ain't got nothing. You just, just met you talking. You don't got hit. They looking at it. It's going to be a lifetime of stuff, no doubt. Get tired in it. So then you get the hospital. It's just real awkward. Who are you, the husband? No, who are you? So I, be, I don't even know who I am. I don't even know why I'm here. Can't get it more and more. You start thinking, you be like, man, I need to break on out. I'm going to go to bed. And just, whoa, ain't nobody got my number. Because they're looking at, I don't want to tie myself in there. Because I don't know. Y'all understand that? And you got to understand, that's why it's important to build a relationship so he know it. Guess what? Then your problem become his problem. Your issue be, hey, the Godfather told him. Well, what, what I ever do to make you disrespect? Huh? He said, you come, you don't even think to call me Godfather. He told me to show me respect. He said, then you have friends like me. He said, then they will fear you. He said, then your enemies will become my enemies. That joker thought about that thing, his daughter got right. He said, be my friend, Godfather. He let no, don't even worry about it. I got you. He looked, he said, you ain't come to me with no respect. He said, whatever do me. You don't, he can't come. He said, you don't even you don't even give me no respect. He said, my wife is God, she's godmother to your only daughter. I don't know the last time you invited me to your house to get a cup of tea. He looked at you gotta show respect. You want your whore to be there and be an enemy to your enemy, you want your whore to be there. Then give him his respect. Give him his respect. He told him what to do, only admit you gone wrong. Did Adam tell him that? I went wrong. This was a bad decision. Yeah, she, she gave it to me, man. I, I should have known. When she cooked that roast beef the other night and told my stomach go, I should have known. Y'all ain't roast beef. I told you. I'm, I'm talking too quick. I'm talking too fast. I might have ate that with New York. I mean, he ain't even here yet. I mean, later. It just get worse and worse. You know you ain't ate with no new art. Just stop it. But now we start looking at how important it is for us to get things. But that's not, well, he couldn't have ate it well because after the flood, but he did live a long time. So, but the main thing I'm going to get to, how important it is for us to make sure we get this right. Young and old. Don't wind up being people hypocrite. He looked at it. He looked at it. He said, man, I'm going to keep no, no roach man before him, no hypocrite. He said, now he ain't going to come before him. That's why he put the cherub in the swing. Guess why? You'll never get back in him. You ain't never got to worry about seeing him again. Not unto my spot. Why do you think the purpose of putting the cherub in now to swing a sword? Every way. Every way. Because the nigga going to find a way to get up on a nigga. Nigga, belly crawler. He like, come on, I'm going to cut your head off. He know a nigga. Nigga trying to suck it. Try to, nigga trying to get in. He done swing it every way. Because a nigga trying to get in here some kind of way. Strike the ground there, they make the dust come up. Because I intend, I don't want you back. Guess what he hadn't done? He hadn't put him there to cut us off. That's why we got to get right. 
everyone. That's why we got to get right. Before that man wind up putting that in the way, before you know it, we cut off. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. That's too.